Chona E has the face that tells a thousand stories. She's a joke machine, punchline after punchline. But Chona E was not an overnight success. She was a plus size woman using comedy to mask her insecurities. <laughs> In 2019, Joanna Estrada, also known as Chona E, decided to do stand-up comedy. She was a working mom, working full-time, a wife with two kids. Her persona was so identifiable, she became popular all over social media and gained 200,000 followers. That is so cool. So cool. Oh my God. So we can each have a, de a dedicated mirror. Yeah, cool. <laughs> we should. That's the way it should go. Well, Chonai behind the scenes is very similar to Chonai on camera. I just, um, I love the camera. Um, but so what we did today was the AM shots were, um, so it's kind of a woman's anthem, the song this year for being a cheese man. And Chona E is actually featured on it. I'm going to be doing my rap, you know, what I usually like to do. So this morning was a lot of AM stuff, moms cleaning, moms with the babies, moms changing caca diapers, moms doing all that stuff. Um, that one was kind of easy because, I mean, I'm a mom, right? Let's get real. And I didn't have to wake up at the crack of dawn and put a full face of makeup. I just came, totira, and ready to roll. So this part is going to be the glam look, which... You guys are used to seeing Chona E all glammed up, and that's that's what we're doing this evening. So I'm really, really excited for you guys to join along the show with us. What's up, Manita? That's fucked up. Let me check in the men's. I'm so happy. I only eat, but still. I'm fucking wet. Yeah, you know what? Let me go find out over there because I don't even know if there's stuff in there. It's all fucked up. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, well, I should have checked there first. Jason, should I look for you first? Yeah, they should. Okay. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Women's. Okay. Right now, they look. The person that turned the faucet gave you, like, for the restroom? Okay. okay. I think the girl did caca. I'm just saying. No, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> None of them have it. Um, he said he may not think that any of them have it. Let me check the, the, the thing. The All the other ones. If not, is there two? I mean, is yes, there, there is. There Yay! is. Dude, Again, I just see, this is girls still. helping girls now. Thank you. Hey, and I'm not shy. See, I don't know how big your pipe oh, is. You girl, I'm going to leave some of someone else. Yeah, this? Right on top. Thank you. ever gone to the stall and then you ask for toilet paper and they give you one sheet? You're like, girl, it's going to disintegrate by the time exactly. I put it in there. I can't even bite it with one. Y'all want it? There's an Easter bunny. You know what? There in that stall, there was no toilet paper. Yay. And you are? Caesar. See, why do I know you? Have I met you before? Do you sing? Yes. Ooh, Taste of the South Side? Yes. Did you perform there, Caesar, with your band and everything? Yeah, yeah. Mira, see, this is your place? Yes. What? Mira, Caesar. I was pregnant. I was the host at the time. No te acuerdas. I do remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was me. My, my yeah. shirt said, yeah, my yeah, baby yeah, yeah. loves tacos. Hey, this guy's really freaking talented. No, no, no. no you are. Room. Because they have the green. Oh, you get it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. A little messy. Yeah, I like it. Divorce party? Fine. Some people are looking to love. Exactly. No, but I'm not getting to work just for in case y'all are wondering, you know? So she knows where you're going to be at and all that stuff? And I told her to get it, like, to get in my way. Everything is fine. He loves that. Yeah. They love it. Like, and you know what? He says even direct over yeah. him. Like, so while you're talking, it's a me with the camera. I have a camera. Right. I go like uh -huh. this. And then, and then you're talking mid tent you know, lady, and then she should interrupt. Is that okay, see? It's so respectful. That's what I think. That's what San Antonio way. That's the only way to do it. Yeah. You gotta get in the way. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So you gotta do what you gotta do if you, want, if you wanna get what you want. If you're gonna get the shot, you gotta get in front of his shot. You know what I mean? No, and you then, know the best? Go ahead. So this is, since I work a lot with motivational speakers, oh, yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. best thing I've ever heard. I bet. Only the determined and the dedicated will touch their children. Ooh, you know that? that was you dope. That? Oh, that was dope. Say, I felt say, that. Say, 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 say. Only the determined and the committed will touch, touch the extraordinary. No, will Wait. touch their extraordinary. Their extraordinary. Wow, that's pretty dope. That's, 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 that's pretty deep. That's just a little, a little gem. Right? You know what? I'm going to sit in the in a table over there and I'm going to ponder. Okay, I got two. Yeah, I'm, I'm like a Nessia from dresses with pockets. Like, I love dresses with pockets. Like, today in the morning shoot, I showed up with the moo and Sam's like, how did I know that you have, like, the best moo? And I'm like, dude, my new shoot is strong. I'm 38, but I'm, like, really 65 in my heart. Yeah, the flippers. Damn. Very, very exciting stuff, and a lot more big stuff to come. Stay tuned, I'll tell you. Yeah, need more fog. Let me go check on me to see if she's all right. Because I was like, ah, uh, we're not here. So we're doing a dance song today. She continued to show the world that she is resilient, determined, and capable of anything she set her mind to. Chona E was growing her shows were filled with family and friends. She juggles a full-time job, a mom, wife, gym, comedian, social media influencer, and content creator. Such a sweet room, sweet, sweet room. I was saying her, um, I was saying that I'm a sucker for dresses with pockets. Oh, they're the best. You gotta have pockets, I dude. I know. What the it's heck? really sad that they don't make more of them. And not only that, they don't make sexy dresses with pockets. Bro, that's this may not be the sexiest thing that's you've ever seen, but look, I'm about to sexify right now. There you go, I thought. Just pull it off your shoulders. <laughs> See what I mean? It's nice. It's really nice. Guys underestimate pockets. They do. You, they don't know. They don't know. And, and we have things in our pockets because you never know when you need a jam yeah. or you never know when you need your feminine products. And you're you're never know. I got it. You know what I mean? It's hard. It no. is hard. It's hard. 
Well, I can feel my eyelash falling off, so I'm gonna put it back on. <laughs> Cause I think I'm just a big old blinker. Big old blinker. One of the biggest things I think that I struggle with being, um, how do you, I don't, I, I always worry about the way I work things to not sound like so presumida or anything like, or conceited, but in our um, show business, you know, that I always worry about how people are gonna perceive me in real life, you know? Um, and I'm always afraid to say no to people because it always makes me feel like, that's it, I'm gonna get canceled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it, um, they're gonna hate me and I'm gonna get canceled. And I said yeah, yes to a lot of things at the beginning, mm -hmm. Um, but now as my life has become so much busier, I have the baby, my daughter's in volleyball, I'm a wife, um, I'm a gym rat. I love to go to the gym. It's something I really appreciate doing because I've, I've lost 51 pounds and I want to be sure that I keep that healthy weight, you know. Um, I still have a ways to go, but with piling all that on and then doing all of this and then now when people ask me to do certain things and I say no hesitantly, yeah. but I have to. Oh yeah. But because your own sanity. Mental health. Exactly. Well and again with mental health. Otherwise stuff is people go they, crazy. Like, they get to see each one I once you're like on your TikTok and doing your thing, but they don't often understand like there's a bunch of shit that goes into it yes. <laughs> behind the scenes. And not only that, but it's getting the kids in the right place, right? Right. So you have your two year old and twelve year old. Two and twelve. So having to, you know, and then make dinner, and then you're a wife. Yes. So the balance of all of it. It definitely is, but I'm, I'm, I'm very blessed in the sense that Billy is so hands-on. He's such a hands-on father, and I, I total hats off to him. Um, because that's, that can be very rare, but yes. I'm finding there are more and more men stepping up to the plate, you know? Yeah. And he's like, hey, you go do the gym. Your health is important to me. I'll start dinner, you know? So it's just, it's, it's just really, really nice to be able to have him because other than yeah. if I didn't, I would be really saying yeah. no to a lot of shit. And then what some other people may not know is Miss Joanna Estrada, she also, I mean, you pretty much run the insurance agency that you're at. Like you run a team there. You yeah, I mean, so she also has like a 40, 60, 80, hour week job on top of being Chonai. Yeah, I have a, I have a, everything. Right. Yeah, I mean, I work full time. I'm actually using my PTO for today. today. <laughs> um, you know, uh, and tomorrow I took an extra day off to just spend a little spring break time with my kids. I, I don't think I can ever tell you that I've taken spring break off in the 12 years I've had Chloe to do anything with her to go on vacation and do stuff like we weren't there financially in the past we definitely are now and then now chona comes into play so yes. trying to have find that balance so i was like i'm gonna feel like crap if i take pto time off to do a chona thing and then not do anything with my kid you know for spring break so i took today and tomorrow off and we'll go do some breakfast yeah. and stuff like that and then um she's got volleyball and stuff to do with so yeah, it's it's so it's there's so that fun. too on top of everything. And that's why for me, and I've talked about this before, but why why I admire you. This is Natasha with Norteño 210. That's interviews all over San Antonio and some A listers as well. It's so much better.
Here we go. Maybe I'm excited. It's uh, my turn to do some solo shots, so that's really exciting. We got my little beverage going. That's always good too. Still sweating a little bit. I'm gonna Platforms keep growing and she lets us know her hard work doesn't come easy. She transitioned from social media to live shows and now to stand-up comedy. The stand-up comedy world has welcomed her with open arms doing show after show. I have naturally curly hair, so up top it starts to fall off real quick, so that's what's happening. <laughs> Shona E became one of the hottest celebrity comedians and a viral sensation out of San Antonio, Texas. She's a comedian, actress, Latina, rapper, and a plus size model who shares smiles and laughter with all her followers. One of the things I love about Chona E is that she shares her culture in a fun and positive way. She isn't afraid to be herself. Really about women feeling empowered and moms feeling like they're not lost just because we're moms. Um, having the confidence to and the chingonanes that lives within all of us to go and follow your dream. I'm 38 years old and I'm fulfilling a passion of mine that I never thought I'd be able to do 
in a million years. It's a fire that's always burned deep inside of me. And I just, for whatever reason, it's never gone away. And I'm doing it now. Um, Yes, I may not be big time Hollywood or anything like that, but if this is as big as it gets, and if this documentary reaches five people and four of the people that watch it are inspired, then I did what I wanted to do. I want to inspire people. I want to make people smile. And I want ladies to know that we are beautiful outside as we are within, and it doesn't matter what shell we came in. I'm not your typical Hollywood, sexy, actress, 5'10", whatever, 120 pounds, whatever it is. I'm Chona E, 38 years old, 248 pounds, and proud of it. And I'm also a mom. I'm also a wife. I'm a dog mom. (laughs) And I'm a full-time employee. And I still get to work on my fitness. There's nothing that we can't do. And if this, anybody gets anything out of it, it's that. Follow your dreams. Do something for yourself. You can still be all these things and be a great mom. You can still do all these things and be a great full-time employee. You can do a lot and still fulfill what you need to fulfill. Sometimes we just need a little push. And little do we know that push really comes deep within us. And it's okay, guys. I'm human too. I have shortcomings as well. Sometimes I suffer from depression. Sometimes I suffer from anxiety. All this came in within my late 30s here recently. I never had to experience that, but I've been dealing with it lately and I'm doing okay. We will all do okay. And just know that we're chingonas at heart and we just sometimes need to put our best foot forward and be chingonas in real life.